All right, so what's going on, family? Today, we're gonna talk about um, Ableton and how I use Ableton in the service um, because this is one of the things that was really, really, really confusing to me when I first started. Um, when I first started getting into click tracks and shouting tracks and just building sessions and stuff like that, one of the things that always confused me was Ableton. It looked so crazy, it looked so like, looked wild, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you guys how I use Ableton, how you can use Ableton. And yeah, so I'm going to drop my screen up here and that way you guys can see. So we're in my Ableton praise and worship session. Um, so I'm just gonna clear some of these tabs right quick. So as you can see on the right side over here, see Alpha and Omega, got in the worship. So how I run my sessions is the ones that's highlighted are the ones that I couldn't find in the service when I needed them. <laughs> so I had to go ahead and, you know, mark them up. But um, I'm gonna show you guys how you take loops from and drop them in with the right BPM and all that. All right, let me focus, let me stay focused, let me stay focused. So what I'm gonna do is open up an entirely brand new Ableton session so you guys can see like how would I build a fresh session so how would it look for you guys, you know what I'm saying? So let's see, new live set. I mean, don't save, I didn't do anything. So this is how the main Ableton session will look when it's pulled up. So I'm just gonna go to MIDI, I'm gonna clear MIDI out, clear, clear that out. I just need one audio track. I'm gonna delete the effects, I don't need the effects. So this master tab, I'm going to bring out. So you may ask, why did I bring that master tab out? Different songs are different time signatures and different BPMs, right? So I can change my time signatures and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna open, I'm gonna open this window back over here so I can access my loops. So we're gonna um, stretch this out a little bit and let's pick, um, let's do something easy like one. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one with the BPM and one without a BPM. So you can kind of see how you would need to do it. So. Let's choose, um, let's go, what's a good one, what's a good one, what's a good one, you are my strength, All right, strength like, everybody knows that song, I hope, if you're a best musician, if not, just good luck on it, but um, so first thing I do is, I take the loop and I drag it to the top and I double click the loop so I can get this window to come up. I hit warp and then see the BPM is on 84. That means we're good. I'm going to click loop and over here, I'm going to click there and I'm going to make that BPM 84. I'm going to click this window, hit command R and then I'm going to name it U, ooh, ooh, you are my strength. I don't know why I feel like I was spelling that wrong. So now, so what I'm what I'm doing now is going what I'm doing now is gonna I'm going to check for the loop to make sure that it loops right. Because you don't want it to re loop and be off tempo. So. It re looped. Be good to go, right? So let's find one without a BPM. We can pick. You are good. Bum, 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 bum. It's another essential. Another essential. So let's take this and see. There's no BPM. So I'm gonna drag it. Same, same method, right? I'm gonna hit warp. And I'm gonna zoom in. We gonna go here. So what I'm looking for is to make the transient on one of the lines. So I'm gonna change the BPM, let's see. And I'm gonna make my loop, I'm gonna make it two bars. So it's kind of like a game. You kind of kind of find where it loops at and then you kind of just kind of drag it to. See how that's kind of off? So what I'm gonna do is it's kind of starting a little late, so. Y'all be good? Right? So same thing. Let's say I want that to be faster, right? So let's make that BPM 90. We're going to name it, you are good. So if I go, 
to that change the BPM? It's too fast. I don't know nobody who's singing that fast. So we're gonna go, let's go 83. Just for video purposes, right? So now what I'm gonna show you is how you can use it on the fly and key in what you want, right? So if I want the number one to cue you are my strength and the number two to cue you are good, that's how I would do it. I hit, I'm on the Mac, so I hit Command K. I believe on PC it's Control K, maybe. I believe so, don't quote me a thousand percent, but I believe it's um, I'm Control K. But I'm gonna click this play button. Hold on, Jay, this, this is my dog. So I take her everywhere. <laughs> so we're gonna hit the number one after we click the play. See how I brought the number one over there? The number two. Hit command K again. Now if I press number one, gives me all my strength. If I click number two, gives me that. So if I, let's say I made the BPMs the same, right? This is rare, but like, for example, we do Everlasting God. And you know, I do one, I'll show you, I'll show you in the other session. I'll show you in the other session, so. And then let's say I wanna switch to another one. See, I switch simultaneously, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'll put the right word on this somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's how you basically take loops and, and do it from scratch, right? So I'm gonna open my praise and worship set again, and I may make this available. If I hit a thousand followers on TikTok, I'm gonna do a giveaway to five people. And I'm gonna give away my praise and worship set. So if you watch this video this long, this whole five minutes, almost six minutes, He's got some insight. So, um, so let's go everlasting God. I'm hit command K. So it's on, see right here, it's on two and three, right? So light and salvation. So you know you get to the, the bridge part, to the two, uh, that part right there. So I can switch time to the same BPM. So you know what I'm saying? I tend to stack. The reason why you see three tracks on this side because I tend to stack my loops a lot to make them feel bigger. What I do too is I'll turn my bar master down too. So I stay in the green. I need to just put a limiter on there. Just been a little lazy, I haven't put it on there yet. I'm gonna do it after this video. So that's how you use Ableton for the gospel musician, how you import loops and import um, things like that. And um, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. Um, I did a blessed remix and we had stems. So I'm not gonna go in depth on how I put every stem in here because it'll be an extremely long video and I don't wanna, I don't wanna make a long video. So, um, this is the bless you mix. So the same way I imported those loops I just showed you, I did the same thing with these, but make sure all the BPMs was the same. So. Chorus. See how I'm switching ahead, I'm clicking ahead of time. And it's taking me where I wanna go. See what I'm saying? So when you get, when you get big sessions and you want to put all your stems in there, you'll put them in there and then that way you can keep your numbers in. So, like, share, send it to whoever, whoever's trying to learn how to use Ableton and yeah, we're gonna be in the game. Let's keep going, let's keep growing.